our current president, and that has to do uh, with President Nana Ikufuado, who has approved uh, the Ghana Football Association's decision for the 2020-2021 season to start in October. Uh, the president announced on Sunday in his address that the Ghana Premier League and other domestic com competitions would start next month, as announced by the association. Uh, and remember, football was cancelled all the way in March due to the coronavirus pandemic. Towards the progressive easing of restrictions, government has taken the decision to allow the resumption of training in all contact sports, taking into consideration the imminent participation of our national teams in international competitions. Indeed, some national teams have already been given the dispensation to begin training ahead of their international engagements. All sports people who are camped are to be tested regularly. Fellow Ghanaians, with respect to football, after due consultations with the Ghana Football Association, it has been decided that the Ghana Premier League and the Division I Football League will restart on Friday, 30th October, with a full regime of testing of the players, technical and management staff. No spectators will be allowed at the training centers. And when actual competition resumes, seating at all stadia will be limited to 25% capacity to ensure social distancing. Wearing of masks by spectators at stadia will be mandatory. The restart of all other sporting competitions will be determined on a case-by-case -case basis, pending consultations between the Ministry of Youth and Sports and the respective sport associations. Well, that was the president of the country, Nane Kufuado, and he has brought some good news uh, because after over 180 days, football in Ghana uh, would be returning next month. And it's important to also note that the president announced that 25% uh, of stadium capacity would see fans, uh, you know, into the stadium. So essentially, if you take that cross for stadium, out of the 40,000 capacity, only 10,000 people would be allowed into the stadium, of course, wearing uh, their masks as well. Uh, but it's important to also remember that he has also lifted the ban on contact sports as of now. So teams can start training ahead of the new season, which should kick off October 30th. Uh, joining me via Zoom is Delali Frank Aute, and he is the Dreams FC, one of the Ghana Premier League teams. He's their media manager as well. It's a pleasure to have you here, Delali. It's a pleasure. Thank you, Rick, for having me. Good morning to us all. Okay, good morning. Let's start off uh, from the, the news. Uh, how has, you know, the people at Dreams, the footballers, you yourself and everyone involved, how has everyone received the news that football is, is coming back? I think obviously, if you check social media and how everybody reacted to it, it's, it's, it's no news and it's, it's no new to everybody. Our reaction is not different from how every football fan reacted to it. You saw social media, everybody was excited about it because at least... We were up in the house and we were all praying and hoping that gradually, gradually, as the president said that he's bringing, he's easing the restriction gradually, we believed football will probably get the chance to, to come back because life is gradually come back, coming back to normal in as much as we can't see that the virus is clearly gone. So we were just hoping that the president will one day see that at least football clubs can start training and footballers see themselves can also start playing because we've all missed the game. And economically, we also know how important the game is. So bringing back football is actually not just for fun or not for the purposes of just for any football club to be excited about it, but also it's one that has economical benefits. So obviously, not only Dreams FC, but I think every football club, every football lover, because after the president's news, if you check social media, the commentary and what everybody is saying, it clearly tells you that everybody was excited that at least the game that we all love, we are getting the chance to watch it again. Because believe it or not, life has to come back to normalcy. And football is one of the things that when you see it happening, you know that gradually we are bringing back things to normal. 
Okay. Uh, Dali, you spoke of uh, the fact that training could resume. Uh, essentially, what we do have now is that teams, if the league does go on to kick off on October 30th, that means the teams would have just over a month to prepare for that. Do you think uh, that is enough, considering the fact that they would have been away for about six months? Will, will one month be enough for the teams to prepare to come back to the league? There's, Rick, there's a saying in Chi that says that if, if, you are, if you are looking for a, a vast land and you don't get it and you get a small one, I'm just paraphrasing the, the saying. You just take it like that. And I don't think we can complain because if you look at the English Premier League, no preseason, they just came back to continue the next season, isn't it? And we all understand that we are in a situation where we are all trying to adjust. And I don't think every footballer will complain about the fact that he or she will not get enough preseason. But you all know that sometimes it's very important that the teams and the clubs get the opportunity to train and prepare very well for the competition proper. But here we are, you can't complain about anything. But I believe that in as much as the clubs have not been training in the have not been training as a group, I believe that the players themselves have been training as individuals on their side. So once they meet it's, you will not get it as you, you've got enough pre-seasons, you've got enough time to train with your players. But obviously, half a loaf is better than none. And I always love to see the, the cup half full than half empty. So obviously, it's not, one, it's not in an ideal situation. And clearly, the fact that we have to wait for the president to tell us to go and play football alone should clearly tell you that we are not in normal times. And that's the president always says. So we all have to adjust and we all have to Take a hit. A decision is not one that will, will be excited about. There's one side of the decision that will not be excited. I think and this is it. But for our, for every football club, I know that there are plans going on on how to bring back the players and also make sure that the players are in good situation and also make sure that football can come back and the players can play to excite every fan who gets the opportunity to come to the stadium and come and watch the game. Obviously, Technically, I'm not a technical person, but I know that training only one month to prepare for a game is woefully inadequate. But this is where we are. This is thanks to coronavirus. This is how you have to live your life. So I believe that players will do their best to stay fit and try their best to give us enough competition for us to enjoy the game that we love. But I think game time, match fitness also comes in when we start playing. So when the, the players start training, playing first game, second game, I believe that they will, they will get they will get a game time and will enjoy the game. Okay, all right. Thank you so much, uh, Delali, and uh, all the best uh, to Dreams FC and your new look front line as well. That was Delali Frank Aute, and he is the Dreams FC media manager.